Welcome back to Angry Bike Mechanic. I'm going to show you this cool tool I just got. It is on this website, up.bike, that's in Upper Peninsula, from this really cool company. Um, can't say enough good things about it. I'm really, really stoked. Anyway, it's a hand dyno for rear shocks on mountain bikes. And this is pretty much what you need to see. The product is exactly as you see it on the website. It comes with the uh, the lever off, the pin pulled, so it's super easy to assemble. Um, you just put that pin back in that lever and you're good to go. Honestly, um, I have only tested one shock on it and that shock was fully assembled and I left some air in the can. Anyway, testing it requires mounting it. And I'm not talking about testing the shock, I'm talking about testing the dyno. And so I took all my tools out. Actually, this tool never really leaves. I'm using a drill for everything. I put in a T25 to remove rotors. It just keeps, the drill keeps you productive. And I know I could do a little bit better by getting a new drill that's got the quick insert. But uh, anyway, I took the time to mount this on my workbench directly and Despite its hugeness, it doesn't really affect the flow of how I work at this particular bench. This black surface area is where I work primarily on suspension. As you can see with all the seals and air cans just laying around, um, there's all sorts of sizes of O-ring picks and everything like that. So I got to make sure I keep it relatively clean. I'll give this a deep clean after I get this all mounted up. So I used some big wood screws. I want to go back and probably do some lag screws, but I use that two by four to reinforce the side I'm working on, that left side. Um, that's what I'm actually holding it up from the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna get all mounted, finalized. I use a 13 millimeter um, socket wrench. You know, sending it in with the drill makes a lot of sense. It's just great, drills are great. And then make sure that it's pretty torqued with my hand tools. Reassemble it by putting the pin back in the, the handle, the lever, and uh, put a shock on real quick. The same pins. And those pins fit nicely through the DU bushing. So I would probably, if I were you, wait to replace your DU bushings with this tool until after you've done your testing. Make that kind of that final step. But make sure there's a bushing in there. Otherwise, there'll be a little bit of play on the vertical. Happy dynoing!